Okay, a couple things you need to understand about the shoulder blade if you're gonna do any kind of effective overhead work or even any pushing work really. So most people know about protraction and retraction. Okay, so that's coming away from the midline and slightly forward or towards the midline and slightly back. The next things that we all know, elevation and depression. Okay, pretty simple. There's also upward rotation and downward rotation. So that looks like this. Here's upward and here's downward. Can you see upward rotation, downward rotation? And then there is anterior and posterior tilt. So anterior means tilting this way, posterior means tilting this way. So here's anterior tilt. You can see it's kind of like tilting forward. And here is posterior. So it's not going forward, back, up or down. It's just working here to here. Now, those last two, the tilting of the scapula and the rotation are the tricky bits sometimes. So as you press your arm overhead, you come around the side, naturally there's gonna be some element of rotation, but you wanna feel what's driving that and you wanna connect with that. So feel it scooping upward this way and press up. And the other thing is you wanna feel your shoulder blade kind of scooping into posterior tilt as it travels up. So we go from this position to this, see the tilting happening as it pushes through and travels up. So from here, forward tilt, we press and we get into that posterior tilt and we travel. So now my shoulder's super open and I've got heaps of space, but you can see I have to move my whole shoulder blade up in order to create that space. If the shoulder blade drops down, it's gonna close because there's not enough space between the joints in here. So you really have to drive, expand the back ribs, get that posterior tilt. And then when you hold something overhead, it's gonna be really effective because you'll be training that really nice position. So that's how you're gonna do any overhead pressing or carrying with an awareness of that rotation and tilt.